Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. We're back at Unreal Engine 4 and we're working on that inventory system for a point and click game. Uh, the last time we left off, we were able to get the item inventory slot swapping working where we can basically swap the position of any of these items uh, within our inventory here. So just to demonstrate that, we can just move these around pretty much any order that we want. So now what we're going to do is get the uh, basic basic uh, functionality for dropping the item. So if we wanted to pick it up and drop it back into our environment, uh, we're going to start getting the basics done for that. Uh, we're probably going to split this up into two tutorials. So we're going to do the first half here and do the second half in the next one. Uh, so what we're going to need to do, we're going to go back to the player character class here. And what we're going to do, we're going to create a new macro that we're going to need to use later on. Uh, we're not going to really use it right now. We're going to use it in the other video, but we're going to make it in this one. So let's do a new macro. We're going to call this assign static mesh to inventory item. And we're going to have to create an input here. So we need a ex executable input pin called in. And then we need another one, but this one's going to be an item name. So we're going to need name. We're going to name this item name. I'm going to need one last one, uh, but it's going to be a special one. I believe uh, this pin is a BP inventory item one. So BP inventory item. And we're just going to name this inventory item. And then for output, we just need an out executable pin. We'll just name it out. And basically what this is going to do is uh, basically uh, when we drop the item back on, we're going to get the name of the item and we're going to basically assign it to static mesh. And then from there, it's going to be drawn on screen accordingly and correctly here. So. Let's move this output out of the way just so it doesn't get in our way. And what we're going to need to do is basically check to see if the item that we're dropping is, you know, item is the book, it's the key, you know, whatever it is at that point. So let's drag out the item name. And we're going to do an equal. And the first one we're going to do, we're going to see equal to backpack. So let's just copy and paste that name as we see it in the scene here. And then we're going to need to do this for all five items. So top hat is next. Fuck that up. Copy paste it again. Next one is jump rope. and paste that, plug it in, whoops. The next one is the book. And then last but not least is the key. And so now what we're going to need to do is a branch. Say, hey, you know, is this true? Is this true? Is this false? You know, what is it? What's going on at this point? So let's go ahead and create the first branch. So is this name backpack? If it's a no, then we check to see if his name is top hat. And then so on and so forth for all five of these guys. Copy and paste these dudes. And then basically if it's true, say for example, it's true that the name is backpack, that's when we want to set a static mesh here and assign it. So we're going to drag out the inventory item pin. Let's drag it out up here, create a reroute just so it's cleaner. And then what we're going to do is do a set static mesh. 
Let's see if we can get this going. Okay, so I think I might have given this the wrong parameter here since it's not giving us the set static mesh. Let's change this from BP inventory item to BP inventory item child. And let's do set static mesh. Here we go. So we had to change the input name from BP inventory item to BP inventory item child so we can get the set static mesh options here. No, don't move it. There we go. And then so if it's backpack, we're going to set that static mesh. And the mesh we're going to set it to is in our content browser. So SM backpack. And then we got to do this all for each item. So let's copy and paste. Put the target in. Put the next true in. And then the next one is the top hat. So let's grab the top hat static mesh here. Plug it up. Copy and paste. Uh, the next object is the jump rope. So let's assign it here. Plug it up here. And plug it up here. Next one is the book. So let's copy and paste. Let's get the book static mesh. Assign it. Grab this target pin from up here. Plug it up. Whoops. And then plug it up to the book true. And then last but not least, we gotta do that for the key. So let's plug the executable pin. Plug in the target pin, and now let's grab it in our static mesh here. Okay. So everything's assigned here. We got the backpack, top hat, jump rope, book, and key. And then what we're going to need to do, we're going to create a sequence. Plug these all up into the sequence. And then in the second sequence, that's where we're going to put our output. And in the first sequence, this is where we're going to put a delay of 0.2 seconds, which is its default. And this is where we're going to actually uh, set the collision for these objects when they spawn back. So let's just drag that out. Let's create a new reroute and do set collision enabled. And we're going to set this to collision enabled. Uh, and the reason why we're doing this, uh, because our object, the inventory item child, by default doesn't have any collision on it. And we basically gave it collision at the start of the game. Uh, so when we spawn it back in, it's not going to have collision again. So we want to give it a delay of about 0.2 seconds and then give it collision. Uh, and that way, if we place the item over the player, so say we drag and drop the item and drop it on top of the player, it's not going to instantly disappear. It's not going to say any errors. It's going to spawn there and then the player can retouch it and you'll be able to collect it back up again. So that's really it for that macro. This one's a very important macro that we're going to use in the next video. Um, but before we uh, call this video a day, uh, we're going to create one more macro. So let me clean this up at the top so we don't get confused. So here we're going to need to create another macro in our event graph. And we're going to call it drop items. So let's create the macro. Drop items. And it just needs uh, two executable pins for in and out. And this is going to be kind of, uh, it's going to be almost identical, if not completely identical, uh, to the other macros that we have here. So I believe it's check for inventory swap item or check for inventory slot swapping. Uh, here, this is where we have all these checks, the true and falses for the slot one drag. So we're going to copy and paste that, but we're going to not copy the actual macros for the swapping here. We're just going to be copying the branches for those uh, booleans. And that's what our drop items is going to be for right now. And last here. 
and it's within here we're going to create uh, basically a new macro uh, but this is going to be the next video uh, I just wanted to have the assigned static mesh set because the, we'll be calling that in each macro we're creating and I wanted to have just the meat of the uh, drop items here um, and then once we have uh, this done all we really need to do um, is fill in the macro for our new uh, drop item for slots uh, we're going to create that in the next video and once we have that done we should be uh, done with this tutorial series for the inventory system so i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching hey guys thanks for watching i definitely appreciate it if you like the content in the video definitely like the video subscribe by clicking on me or the subscribe button above uh, for more content you can click on either two videos on the right side here for more blueprint examples for more blueprint tutorials more information just on how to use unreal engine 4 uh, so again i appreciate you guys watching and i'll see you guys next time bye